What's up Gunplum Modelers? This is Strider Prime bringing you a new edition of Gundam Models and today I am going to review this. The May issue of Hobby Japan for 2015. I haven't uh, purchased a magazine in a long time from Hobbyland Japan. Uh, I try to pick and choose what I what I want to get what I don't want to get. Um, clearly if we all had our, uh, you know, our desires. We would get every magazine that comes out of Japan from Hobby Link and of course then get copies. But I decided to pick this one for one specific reason and that is this thing. The Wing Gundam Zero Hono Custom Kit which I have and may build next. Let's remove the packaging. We're not reviewing the um, option parts. No. That will be of course for the Hono itself when I work on that soon. Instead, we're going to focus on the mag. And while we were looking behind it, ooh, something came out. Uh, apparently, they were showing off all the uh, Saint Saiyan. Is it Saint Saiyan? Or, I think it's Saint Saiyan. Uh, Saint Cloth Mythology Gold Saint Special Parts Saint Cloth Mix EX. Wow, that's a lot of gold. I'm not a Saint Saint fan myself. Uh, I do, you know, I do acknowledge it and I do appreciate, you know, wow, some of the cool figures that they show off here. Holy Christ, wow. I haven't followed the series. I think I only saw one episode, which of course was dubbed in English and ripped off a Queen's, uh, mu uh, a music from Queen, just so they can promote it. But that's a story for another day. Let's work on we'll talk about this guy or view this. So as we said, this is the uh, May issue. There's a beautiful, beautiful custom paint job and paint, um, design of the Hono itself. I can't wait to work on that. Um, but we're going to start from back to front because that's how in Japan they always do it. This is maybe a long video bill of. Uh, Excuse me, video review, so be patient with me. Let's go to the first page. Um, here's more of the Saint Saint. Obviously, I think there's a movie coming out, I believe, so who knows. Uh, I see some of the cover pictures of the Zaku 2 from the Gundam The Origins. There's the, uh, the, the, um, the new uh, Gundam kit from the Bill Fighter series. Uh, here's, of course, the, re the, the real grade. Um, Double O Gundam, Double O Riser, excuse me, that's coming out soon. I see some pages and a ad index, of course, for those of you who are in Japan and know where to go. I see some water guns, Zoids. I see some, I guess, um, some advertisement of stuff that you can actually sell. Uh, you know what? It looks like they're following the American way, so you know what? I may have to start from front to back, like we always do, so sorry about that. We're going to start here. <laughs> and I'm not going to take a take two. So, let's continue. Let's begin. So, let's see what we got here. I'm confused with Dengeki Hobbies, that's why. Alright, so... Looks like the same thing from the back. The only difference is in color. I see some interesting things. Some classic kits. Classic figures. The banana. Alright. That's interesting. Figure of a young girl. Now there's what we're looking at, of course. I see... Uh, I see that... Um, Looks like either pictures or video on what to do on, you know, you can actually view this on your iPhone. Alright. Maybe somebody can help me with that. I'm hoping uh, I hear some people out there who can explain to me if I, if I, you know, if I'm confused or anything like that. So, there's the Hono right there in, in its all its glory. I have to admit, this is one of the most coolest kits I've ever seen. Um... Looking at it, looking at the detail, it's, it's spot on. I see some, you know, some things that uh, this person did to get the kit out even f better, you know. Uh, give it a much more detailed look to it. 
I see some panel lining, some techniques there, panel lining there. Uh, I see some, they put in some plow plate in, in specific areas. Oh, that's, that's kind of cool. And I got some plow plate for something else. Uh, wow, this is really... And then I see, it looks like there's two kits, or maybe because the Hono part gives it an extra look to it. Interesting. Okay, so hang on a second. Now I'm looking at this. There's the Hono. And I believe that's the Hono with the added parts, which gives it that amazing wing-like look to it. Wow, that is nice. I see the, he decided to use um, silver at the edge of the, of the blades. Oh my god, this is really nice. Somebody may be telling me why don't I use the uh, L-clad um, metallic finish on this. This is an orange ready color, and I'm I have an idea for this. So you're gonna have to give me some. Um, you're gonna have to forgive me of that. Oh, I see some instructions on how to assemble the weaponry. It's probably in the manual in the, in the magazine itself, and I see the parts uh, in on this. And, of course, some techniques on what to do. I will review this left and right to see how it is. Wow. I'm going to have fun with this. So, yeah, that pretty much covers that page. Except there's another... Oh, there's no other page. Okay. Uh, I see some blurry things here, which I can't barely see, but it, uh, it looks like the either the high-grade unicorn versus maybe the home now. Uh, obviously, they're doing, you know, a take out of the Build Fighter series. Oh, wow, well, there's <laughs> Infinite Justice this D. Nice, this is really cool. Oh. Too bad, the guy got the, um, this kind of lost his arm. And more custom paint, uh, photographs of this. Good detail work. Wow. I better not start, I better stop gloating this and prepare myself to build this soon. So here's a beautiful custom build of the Unicorn Gundam Kiwam. It's actually been shown on Gundam, guys, So, but here's a much more better picture to look at it. A beautiful idea of using a combination of blue and white, but you see some added features around on the shoulders. Um, nothing on the forearms, but on the chest. It gives a little wing-type things. The side... Uh, she, um, the side armor, show uh, leg armor, yeah, really nice, good detail, and a lot of um, a lot of uh, what do you call it decals. Ooh, I like this one with the Gatling gun, and when it's in destroy mode, very nice. Then here's a here's a custom of the wing Gundam um, uh, Financia Renesita, um, but they call it the Foshia. Oh, Foshian, hopefully I pronounced that right. Very nice, with a gold and blue, metallic gold, and using the sh the uh, effect part of the shield as an extra like cloak around the legs. Excellent work, nice. I like that one. Wow, that's a badass sword. I believe that is a custom right there. Prime told me something, and I completely forgot. She says she saw it from someplace. Wow, Wing Gundam Zero Black, using the Hono parts on the Wing Gundam. Wing Gundam Zero and then the custom Hono parts together. Nice. You really, you have to appreciate that this type of uh, scratch building work. It's cool. It's a kit bash scratch build. You know. Smorgasbord right here. And then I see the uh, Gundam Portent going up against the um, Build Fighters, uh, Star Winning Gundam. Portent just recently came. I, I don't know if it came out, but yeah, that's a cool kit to get for those of you who are interested in getting this uh, this suit. Very nice. We like to see the customization of this kit when when somebody begins to work on it. Completely forgot about these guys, the SDG Gundams. Um, very simple in design. We we'll like to see how somebody customizes it. This is actually pretty cool. I will have to say this. I'm not fond of that. I don't know why. It just doesn't look right. 
may because the dimensions in scale for the high grades is not equal to par to what we remember in the animated series it is of course a worthy attempt but doesn't I don't know doesn't fly with me for some odd reason I would like to see somebody make it even better that would be nice here's the star winning Gundam in its final form which is really nice I was thinking of getting it but eh, you know things got caught up with me with other things um, more detailed pictures of that yeah this is oh, we haven't seen the bear guy too in a long time but here's a nice custom build of that with a little hat that uses a saw blade type of thing nice surprise this person didn't use the bear guy F oh okay the master grade uh, Sun Goku and Astray Gundam I should work on this kit. It's been sitting in the wings for quite some time and been contemplating on building it. Just haven't given the um, the idea for what to do with it. I see somebody customized some weaponry for it because the hammer and the all this other stuff was from the high grade version. And before I say high grade, hopefully this is not the high grade and not the master grade. Yes, it is a high grade, so somebody really coolly customized this. Nice. Uh, I believe that's an episode index right there, and then we're seeing some upcoming kits. Obviously, the end, which is coming out soon. Hopefully, you guys get getting your hands on that one. Followed by, of course, the um, is it the descent? I always keep forgetting this. Um, you know what I mean. Um, there's the try, try on three. There's the full cloth, which I am definitely getting. Everybody is getting that. That thing is going to be sold out till tomorrow, till next year. Um, the denial. I I actually called it the dentist for some odd reason. I don't know why, but yeah, the denial. It's a weird color. I hate. I, I don't know. If I get this, I'm definitely repainting this because I am not fond of this purplish, grayish, bluish color. It it it's it's morbid. Yes, it's supposed to be a morbid mobile suit, but it's morbid to me, which I'm not thinking. Now this is one kit that everybody and their grandmother wants to get, and that is of course the master grade. Renacita. Financia. Financia Ren Renacita. Alright, so somebody's going to correct me on that. Hopefully, when this, when we see more photographs of this, will Bandai introduce parts to make it the fin the, Renac the uh, Financia. And that's it. Not not the Financia Renacita. You can, so you have an option of both. That'll be an idea right there. Here's the high... Oh! Uh... I really like this Gatling gun that's coming out soon, so I can't wait to get that one. Not not interested in getting this weapons pack thing. And obviously a lot of kids and girls will probably get their hands on four of these little guys right there. for all different colors. Some would argue, oh, just buy a Bear Guy F four times. Nah, I don't think that's going to happen. That's why Bandai did this at a very cheap price. I wouldn't be surprised if I'm seeing if somebody decides to paint them, get a hundreds of these, and and make a little bear guy, uh, mini bear guy army. Uh, some uh, line art of the portent right here. I'm surprised that I wonder did the portent? Uh, you know what? I'm going back a few pages, so I'm sorry. Does the portent come with those little automations in the high grade version? I guess not. Somebody's somebody's gonna scratch build that at that scale. There's the SDG. There's uh, the star winning. The announcement of the DVDs and Blu-rays. There's a gold-plated version of the Bill Burning Try. Um, tri More information of the series and the episodes. And now we're in a series that I guess not many people are en either enjoying or accepting or trying to make sense of it all. Gundam Reconquistia in G. The new kit that's coming out right now is the Mac Knife. Mask, you, mask use. This kit is almost around the same height and build size 
as the Seraphim from from Double O Gundam. That's good because it's a good price. But then you're trying to figure out what to do with it. And since I haven't been watching the series for a while, I don't know. I'm I'm actually kind of liking it because I may have an idea with it, but uh, I don't know. I have no idea. I see somebody uh, see another version of this in a different paint scheme. I haven't followed the series, so you have to forgive me on that. Uh, but this, wow, this one is pretty cool. The Assault Backpack type. This is, of course, I believe, if since I've been watching the series, the Dendrobian version of the of the series. Because you have to have something to make it even more badass on this mobile suit. The G Lucifer is another one that I'm I'm keen on getting. Interesting uh, backpack thing that has beam. I can't tell with beam sabers or beam effects, but it acts as a as a as a back skirt type weapon. I like the um, the helmet. With the mono eye, the helmet almost has that uh, broken blade uh, head look to it, and I like the uh, color tone of purple and white. It's pretty nice, pretty cool. I guess I get, and I didn't realize that the, these things and the skirts can tr are pretty much mobile we uh, weaponry funnels. Their their version of funnels. So somebody scratch build the uh, the wreck sh wreck re uh, excuse me wreck snow. Or the next generation of Simon with the stupid um, four color head. Good scratch build though. Very well done. And I see they did the scratch build of the of the first of the training unit from the series. What the blank is this? The Grod? Alright, I thought that was the Dend so if the assault pack was the dendrobian version of the sh of the series this has to be the new zeal version of the series now you pique my interest now i got to see this monstrosity of a kit it looks like a resin kit wow this is pretty ballsy yes i said ballsy because i see a lot of ball i see two but big balls um, some painting of some of the units there, and the D hack. I'm definitely looking into getting that when it comes out. Ooh, this is a new version of the GR Kane. Hey, Prime, take a look at this picture when you get a chance. Hold on a second. Look at this. Probably will be online soon enough, but yeah, wow, it's pretty nice. Uh, some of the kits that's coming out, the the, the Cath Sith ship uh, mobile suit, which I call I, I prefer to call it the Cat Shit because it's more appropriate. Uh, this unusual suit with a beam shield on its shoulder and a some sort of railgun type weapon. Okay, fair enough. And here's some more suits of the series. I have to remind myself to build a grimoire. Uh, now we're going to Master Grades, and this one just recently came out, the Master Grade Gundam Double X. Never saw the series. I think I only saw Episode 1. I have to acknowledge it is, it is a beautiful kit. I've been shining on the um, X Gundam for quite some time, and hopefully they will make the X Mao from the series. But, uh, yeah, it's a pretty big and very good-looking kit, especially the, the retouch-up and building this good color tone the v-dash is coming out as a high grade for those of you who are big um, victory uh, gundam fans Ooh, that's actually a nice custom build of the god gundam god gundam god master that's pretty cool wow it's really nice pretty cool indeed uh, ooh, prototype mobile suit for new types, Kubelay Mark II, but it's a really cool custom build. Yeah. Oh wait, Kubelay with the Cassatria binders. Nice. I like that. Very nice. 
Then we have an SD Musai Psycho Gundam for the SD fans out there. Which you can actually make some transformations and things like that. And there's a bigger one, wow. And then, of course, the announcements. Uh, you know what? Let's pause here. In the next episode, we'll get into the next series of pages in, the, in my review of the May issue of Hobby Japan.